Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, today I'm just going to show you an amazing project which is done by one of our subscribers and a student of iNeuron. His name is Jay Sony. So this is his LinkedIn profile. Uh, again, he's probably doing his MCA and he's also getting trained in iNeuron. Uh, with respect to this guys, this is an amazing project which is brought with respect to awareness of waste recycling. That basically means that uh, probably you'll be seeing that suppose if you're going in a specific area okay and suddenly you find some kind of waste thing right and probably you need to notify to the municipality or the area municipality itself right you can first of all click it you can predict that what kind of waste it is and then probably submit it to the municipality officers so that they will be able to check it out right uh, sending it to the municipality officer is not being implemented here but this is an amazing idea you just need to upload a specific image and just say classify your waste material and over here you will be able to see that what kind of uh, classification will come probably it will be a plastic materials and all and it will also be providing you some of the, some of the details what are the you know disadvantages of this what are the impact of this with respect to the uh, this kind of waste itself you know so that uh, it will give a uh, people some amount of knowledge regarding that now for this what uh, jay has also done is that again he has shared this entire data set you can see that they are somewhere around <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, probably 9 classes, I guess. And here you'll be able to see that he has taken many multiple number of images and probably he has trained this all these particular images with the help of, uh, let's see in his GitHub. So this is his GitHub profile. He has basically used Inception V3 where he has got 90.34 percentage. And what he has done is that he's also deployed this model in AWS uh, Elastic uh, Beanstalk. Okay, so here all the steps are there. So here uh, in an amazing way, he's written this GitHub link. This project is definitely good for the starters, probably who are learning data science. They really want to know end to end projects. So definitely this can be considered. So here you have this overview, the data set, how they, they have actually collected. You can just click on this and it will be going to his Google Drive link. You can download it from here. Then how did he deploy this into the Elastic Beanstalk? You know how to use it what is the steps of the deployment everything is specified over here and he's the person over here jay sony again i'd suggest uh, follow him in the linkedin and suppose if you're trying to implement this just try to message him out and uh, he'll definitely be able to help you out but before that let's test this application so what i'm going to do is that let's see this particular image uh okay this looks like a solar battery over here so let me just download this image so this gets downloaded in my downloads folder now i'll just going to reload this page I'll just upload an image over here. So I'll upload this solar thing and then I'll just click on classify your waste material. Now after this here, you can see that waste classified as battery materials. I know guys, the, fr the front end application, the front end part is not that, uh, not that very, very beautiful itself. But again, the main aim is that to create an end to end project, you know, yes, uh, he can make the front end much more better. But with respect to this and so many number of classes, definitely this is definitely performing well. And as said that with the help of uh, Inception V3, he was able to get somewhere around 90.34 percentage of accuracy. Again, which is an amazing task. So here you can see all more details about it. You can see the information over here with respect to batteries, what all different kind of pollution can happen. And these are some of the videos, you know, to provide you the information. Yes, this application still needs to be integrated. Probably if it is integrated with the uh, probably sending a mail to the municipality corporation, I think that would be amazing uh, with respect to waste recycling, you know. Uh, probably they are plastics, probably they are bottles thrown in the road or in the sideways. All those information will be very, very handy so that the municipality corporation understands that which part of the waste needs to be recycled, right? It is very, very much important. Let's see one more example. What I'm going to do is that instead of taking batteries, let's take something like light bulbs. So light bulbs, I think, uh, and let's see the images, guys, because uh, if it is performing well, right? Uh, so the images also, if I try to see with respect to light bulbs and all, it will be pretty much good. So I think uh, here is an image. So here you can see that it is it is bulbs. It is tube lights, you know, over here and probably bulbs is also there. Let me download this image and probably test it. And here I'm just going to upload this image. So light bulbs and I'm just going to classify the material. I hope it gives us a good result. So here you can see that, okay, it is giving battery material. So probably there is some error. Uh, let me take some more examples probably. Mm. Mm, okay, the bulbs needs to be seen, right? 
okay let's see some examples okay let's see this one okay over here i think clearly it is being visible that bulbs are there okay let's see this okay probably this is the example of bulbs <clears throat> but anyhow obviously there will be some kind of accuracy uh, error uh, that we definitely know so here now you can see that okay the waste classified as battery material again some amount of error definitely but uh, if you try to check with some more examples you may be getting some accuracy so definitely j sony you need to work on this errors i guess uh, uh, you are getting batteries for everything because this looks like a battery this looks like a bulb so probably because of that uh, that confusion is there let me just take some simple example and see uh, let me take this image whether it will work or not i think it should work now uh, because over here this looks like a battery also right uh what uh okay here it shows light bulbs and it looks pretty much good now what i think what better improvement can come into this particular project and definitely i'd like to give this feedback to jay also is that probably when we are doing the waste recycling it may be that you may be having plastics you may be having bulbs you may be having some other waste materials i think object detection would be a very good mechanism further ahead when we are trying to modify this project into a level where uh, it really is being used in a whole scale level right so object detection should be definitely implemented in this uh, by using ssd yolo you know there's so many different different object detection algorithms you can also use dfod in order to do that and and yes when you are just taking the video it will be able to detect it will be able to send the information so again uh, a good task by jay sony as uh, and uh, he has actually created this end to end application this is the linkedin url again i'll be giving in the description of this particular video just check it out and yes if you have any anything anything that you really want to talk to him just ping him and try to just try to understand how the deployment and all are done but apart from that everything is given in this github link so everything will be given in the description of this particular video guys i hope you like it please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and done bye bye